Hi, my name is Christine Austin and this is my colleague Aaron Lombard and we are here to talk about how to ensure treatment integrity. Uh, we work specifically with children with autism, uh, but this could be applied for anyone who works with anyone in regards to behavior management. So I'm the Director of Clinical Operations here at Step by Step and that's a position that I've had since 2009. And I currently have a Master's of Science in Applied Behavior Analysis. Uh, just finished that and sit for the BCBA exam in two months. And I'm Erin Lombard. As Christine mentioned, I'm a behavior consultant here at Step by Step Academy. Um, I am originally from California. Um, where I received my undergraduate degree in Child and Adolescent Studies um, and then moved here in 2009 um, and have been step by step since. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Our objectives today are to identify and implement data collection methods and ensure accuracy of the data. In addition, we want to identify and implement evidence-based teaching strategies to ensure treatment fidelity. And then we're going to finish the presentation by uh, giving you some resources on how to increase staff buy-in and decrease staff burnout. But just to give you a little bit more uh, overview of exactly what it is that we're going to be talking about in this presentation, first we're going to talk about uh, appropriate measurements and the importance of measuring behavior, whether it's for increasing or decreasing behavior. We're also going to give you some examples of data sheets that we use so that we can ensure that we are collecting in our observer agreement. And then just a little bit of a visual analysis. The importance of the visual analysis in a graph is basically what I'm talking about is to make sure that everybody can communicate. So it might be Aaron Lombard and I, uh, you know, creating the graph from the beginning, but then also using that as a communication tool for the staff and then also the parents or other professionals that serve the child. And then we'll talk about later on about how it's effective to use that graph as a reinforcer for your staff so they can see how their behavior change has change the behavior of the child that they're working with. Um, then we're going to lead our presentation into talking about evidence-based training methods for the staff. And what we really want to do is detail what step-by-step -step has done. So you're going to get a lot of information about our supervisory model, how we train our staff, and then also how we ensure uh, treatment fidelity. And then we're going to talk about, um, you know, just some some basic things that we've done here at Step by Step to gain the staff buy-in and try to prevent the burnout. So that's a, a little bit more detailed of our uh, presentation today. And also remember, this is a live presentation right now, and so you are free <clears throat> to um, ask questions. There should be a chat um, area for you to ask your questions, and we will be able to see that throughout the presentation as well. Definitely. Okay, so first of all, how complicated is changing behavior? Well, what we've done here is we've listed all of the evidence-based behavioral interventions for both increasing and decreasing behavior. Under increasing behavior, you can see that we use discrete trial teaching, natural environment teaching, specifically for communication and play skills. Um, we also use a task analysis and response training in addition to pivotal response training. And through that, you also have to obtain uh, the ability to prompt, um, use a time delay, and then also differential reinforcement. That's everything a behavior analyst needs to teach a staff member working with a child. So just so you're familiar with some of our language, uh, we call our direct staff team uh, behavior technicians. So when we say a behavior technician, that's the person that's working directly with the child. So just to increase behavior, just to increase those adaptive skills, communication, play, socialization, pre-academic skills, that's everything you have to learn. 